Hey guys, Anthony of The Rag Company, and in today's exciting video, we are gonna be doing a coating update and check on Nick's Toyota Sequoia coated in Diamond Body 36. Let's get started. Alright guys, so it's been about two weeks since Nick had his Toyota Sequoia coated in Diamond Body 36 by Diamond Pro Tech. Now Levi did the job himself, so you know it's probably pretty dang good. However, Nick has gone on an off-road adventure beyond what most off-road adventures will go on and this Sequoia is absolutely filthy. It picked up a ton of mud, grit, soil even some nice drawings done by his daughter here on the side of the vehicle. So what we wanna to do today is go over the coating, check to see if the water behavior is still there, still active and doing what it needs to do, but also doing a maintenance wash here on the Sequoia as well. So for the maintenance wash, we're actually using some Stearnagloss products just to get it nice and cleaned up. But for the most part, things I'm looking for are how does the paint look underneath all this dirt? How is the water behavior? Checking for hairline scratches because he got some nice Idaho pinstripes going up in those mountains and we wanna make sure that those are uh, superficial, right? And not actually into the clear, into the, into the paint and we're gonna be doing some checks there. So with that said, I think the first step is we're gonna grab the pressure washer, go over the car from top to bottom, rinsing off all this filth and seeing how well it cleans up. Let's jump into it. All right guys, so with our pressure washer in hand here, we're gonna start rinsing from top to bottom. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda nervous. I'm really hoping this cleans up with mostly water alone. I'm sure some areas are gonna have to be agitated, but you know what? We just gotta start spraying to find out. Let's do it. Now that's a good sign because the windshield is also coated in the diamond glass coating and that's some pretty fantastic water behavior just to start. Yeah, let's see what the paint does. pretty good that's pretty dang good I'm not gonna lie yeah I, I I I gotta keep going this is uh yeah I mean it's picking up a ton of that right off the surface the beading is amazing the contact angle of this coating if you guys can get a close-up here on these beads those are incredible look at that contact angle it's insane especially for how dirty this thing is I am uh yeah, color me impressed, right? Let's keep going. Are you guys seeing this? So, here's a door. Right, haven't even touched it with a mitt, haven't touched it with anything. Here's a door that's just been rinsed. It's got some beading left on the surface. Here's the door before. I doubt that I'm gonna have to do, I'm talking barely any scrubbing. I'm gonna let the mitt do the work, just literally glide it over the surface. And I think that, yeah, it's gonna be pretty incredible. So let's get the rest of this side rinsed off here, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. I mean, really, I'm seeing maybe a couple dirt marks left right here on all the drip areas, which I'm guessing was probably from when he went off-roading and hit maybe hit a couple puddles where it caused some drip marks. But other than that though, I'm not seeing any concentrated buildup of dirt or debris or anything like that. So pretty amazing. Thank you. 
So here's the thing, right? We've coded a lot of cars here at the rag company. We've used a lot of different coatings. Seriously, we've used a ton, countless probably at this point. And I will say that this kind of self-cleaning ability, this oleophobic behavior with just the water alone, I mean, like I feel completely confident going up to this car and just rubbing my hands on it and knowing that that is a clean surface without even taking a mitt to it. I mean, probably shouldn't be doing this when Amar up his, uh, his paint here, but you know, whatever. I mean, there's literally nothing, there's nothing, there's no dirt, there's no nothing. I mean, look at this, compared to what's left here on the surface. I'm not gonna rub that because that's grit, that's dirt, that's mud. There's all that stuff on there. I'm not gonna touch that, but I will touch it with a pressure washer, so let's blast this thing. All right, so we finished this side of the Sequoia. I don't even know, I'm guessing. Lily could take a quick detail and a towel and probably clean the rest of this up. But uh, Nick also pointed out that these wheels are coated uh, in the diamond wheels. And so I wanna see how these are gonna clean up because these saw the most abuse on that trail um, over the weekend. And I'm not a huge fan of these TRD Pro wheels because I have them on my wife's uh, Forerunner and they are such a pain in the ass to clean that I, I just don't even deal with it. I spray them and, and, and call it good. So I'm curious to see without agitation how well these things clean up because uh, I don't know about you guys, but I don't wanna be on my knees taking a brush to these. pretty nice that's pretty nice if I say so myself check out that wheel check out that wheel well what do you guys think Nick what do you think <laughs> Nick's impressed when I started rinsing Nick's like eyes like open up I'm like I know right it's incredible let's keep it going I'll rinse this one off over here All right, so we made our way to the rear hatch here, which should technically, in theory, be the dirtiest area of the vehicle and the area of the vehicle that holds on to the most amount of that really hard to remove dirt. That's just how these cars work. It kind of trails up and does like a vortex effect to the back of the car. So I'm curious to see how this coated wheel right here is gonna clean up, but also the hatch. Let's get to spraying. Wow, bring it back to here. Look at that. Typically, like I said, even with a new coating, you would see a film or a level of contamination that would happen that would cause maybe a change in the water behavior periodically until the coating has been cleaned. But I mean, that's a dirty coating that still has that level of water behavior. Um, that's very impressive. All right, so now we've made our way to the main event here. And I call it the main event because I want to see what 
uh, abrasion resistance of this coating actually is. And the reason why I'm saying that is because um, Idaho pinstripes, right? We call them that because you're going through a bunch of brush, going through a bunch of debris um, on a trail, and you're gonna get a lot of those plants and brush to, to wipe up against the car, right? Once that happens, it technically, I mean, usually mars up the, uh, clear coat. It's going to leave marks in there. It's going to be, leave lines. You see it all the time driving around here. And you can see that there is visual lines on the entire side of the Sequoia. There's no denying that. You can see all of that. My hope is that those are all superficial and those literally come off and it has not affected uh, the coating or the clear coat at all whatsoever. Now, Nick's daughter drawing into the coating and the clear coat on a dirty car might be a different story, but if that holds up as well, I'll be equally as impressed. So, uh, yeah, the moment we've been waiting for, let's rinse this thing. No way. I'm telling you, there's got, there's like, I'm mean, like, this isn't like a joke or me trying to be like a salesman or anything like that. There has to be scratches in that. It's not possible for there not to be scratches in there. I'm sure there's some fine ones because those have been drawn on, but I mean, that just literally rinsed off and I can't see anything. I can't see anything in the clear and I'm looking, I mean, other than the previous scratches that are already there, which I know are there because we helped polish this thing. I don't, okay, let's start. I'm gonna start from top to bottom here. I'm gonna lose my mind. Hold on, I'm gonna go, <clears throat> cause I need to make sure I'm seeing the right thing here. I'm gonna go grab a bucket, a little bit of soap and water. I'm just gonna wipe this area and then rinse it because that's crazy. Oh geez. All right, I got a cyclone mitt here, a little bit of sterna gloss bubbler in here. It smells really good. I'm going to, oh my God, it's slick. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse this. Show me the true, show me the true finish. Nick, do you have a towel? You don't have a towel? Okay, we're gonna grab a towel. This is. There's I'm telling you right now, I can't even, I have some coated cars that I really can't even brush up against with light dust on it without marring the surface. So that's why I'm like, I really need to hear an answer. With a towel, I'll be able to kind of see everything, but the water behavior is still incredible. And all the areas that his daughter Drew on the car, on a dirty surface. This is still amazing. Nick's got the towel here, got herself a gauntlet. Gauntlet that needs to probably be washed in rags to riches. Yeah, and well guys, I was 
completely expecting there to be lines in the coating. I mean, we were making this video saying, hey, this is probably gonna be the exception that the coating wouldn't be able to take, but the fact that it got pinstripes on it and I'm not seeing the pinstripes on the clear and everything feels smooth and all the finger drawings on here didn't show up or didn't change the water behavior where maybe it goes flat in that area because it you know cut through the coating. Um, pretty impressive. So if you guys want to know how hard this stuff is, there you go. You know, pinstripes, they could take them all day long. Not a big deal. Literally just rinses right off after coating it. So uh, let's keep going. We're gonna rinse the rest of the car and then get to the actual wash. All right guys, so we just finished up with the wash here on the Toyota Sequoia that was coated with Diamond Body 36. Now obviously I was really impressed during the rinsing process and I was even more impressed the way that the mitt felt on the car once we started washing. So does the coating hold up to outdoor abuse? abso freaking lootly I was very surprised to see that there was no mar marks or leftover pinstripes from taking this thing off-road. The gloss is still fantastic and really it cleaned up so freakishly well with just water alone that I think that that's already a huge selling point. I mean literally Nick and Jimmy both agree that after we rinse everything off we could have in fact just taken a quick detail or a waterless wash and then sprayed it on the car and dried it off with a towel and it would have been just as clean but it felt really good to get a soapy mitt on there just to feel the slickness of the coating. So overall guys, I'm beyond impressed. Seriously, this stuff is the real deal. You guys saw the water behavior. You saw that contact angle of those beautiful beads uh, and it puts on quite a good show, but it also cleans up well for the show as well. So guys, that is a coating check and water behavior check here on Diamond Body 36 from Diamond Pro Tech. We hope you found this video useful and hopefully you have the same experience for yourself at home with your own coating. So as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for more and stay Stay tuned for more videos right here at The Rat Company.